I was asked to go to the Almond Clinic to um, see if we could really test this under um, some scientific measurements. Uh, we went and I had a SPECT scan done. On the first uh, scan, the first day, I had no medication at all, no Adderall, no Adcare, either one. And on the SPECT scans, there it actually shows on the frontal portion of my brain there's deep pockets which is um, is basically showing that my brain is sleeping and I am not um, able to focus. Uh, the brain's kind of like a muscle, it'll kind of basically flex and it's not flexing. So um, that first one there's real deep pockets. Um, the second day I came back and I was on the ad care and uh, the ad care it showed a real big difference uh, um, compared to the first uh, the pockets were almost completely gone on one uh, side of the brain the right side of the brain um, it was significantly better uh, the pocket was almost completely gone on the other side of the brain uh, there was still a pocket showing it was better though it w obviously better uh, than previous and the whole, whole brain overall looks much fuller and more um, supple and uh, basically uh, like a muscle contracting and um, the third day I came in and that was when I used the Adderall instead and um, you could tell the Adderall works and it does its job. It, um, there was a significant difference on both portions of the brain in the front. Um, there was still some pockets there and um, definitely not 100% better. Um, maybe slightly better than with the AdCare, but uh, overall, um, with the side effects of the Adderall, it might be one of those things that it weighs out better to not have the side effects uh, um, than 100% performance, which I still am not getting on the Adderall. Um, there's other portions of the um, scans where it shows the internal portion of the brain, and on those, um, you can really tell the difference as far as what's going on in the brain. The first scan when I was not taking anything showed a lot of white area in the frontal part of the brain frontal part of the brain and then not very much in, in the rear portion of the brain, which is actually the opposite. It should have lots of white in the rear and not any in the front. Um, basically, the front areas of the brain lighting up white like that means that I'm having some depression and anxiety and um, unable to focus, uh, and which kind of plays hand in hand. And um, that's without any medication. On the second day, with the ad care, I showed a significant difference on the in internal scans. Uh, the rear region of the brain showed much more light up of white which shows increased dopamine which is really very good for focusing and concentration and task management and the front portion of the brain there was much less of that white matter which means decreased anxiety, decreased depression symptoms going on um, which is a, a significant difference for natural homeopathic medication basically or not medication but uh, supplement and um, a huge significant difference from the first scan with nothing. On the third scan, the internal um, results with the Adderall um, wasn't nearly as good as with the Ad Care. It did show some improvements, but there was still some 
white areas in the front a, a little bit more than we, we would have liked to seen. Uh, not as much of the white lighting up in the back with the dopamine. So as far as the internal um, scans, they're just, it was not quite um, what you would think it would be for a prescribed medication uh, that causes side effects that it can. As for with the scans, each day I did a ADD um, test, uh, basically a performance test. And um, on the first day, I had missed quite a few. I think it was somewhere near 15 items. Um, that was with no medications. On the second day with the ad care, I missed merely four of the prob test problems. And on the uh, third day, I missed somewhere around 11. So obviously the ad care, uh, as far as test performance, uh, exceeded my Adderall that I had been used to taking by almost twice as good as the Adderall, which is pretty significant, especially without those additional side effects. Um, as far as um, my recommendation, I would completely recommend the Ad Care, especially for anyone who is reluctant to go on to a medication that is a controlled substance Usually you have to go to the pharmacy every 30 days and have a new prescription, see physicians every month, sometimes every couple months if you're lucky, um, and have side effects long term. And sometimes have to have written notes for jobs of why you're taking a stimulant. There's a lot of extra um, additional um, side effects and, and loopholes that are difficult when you're taking a controlled substance that is a stimulant. I would definitely recommend AdCare and if anyone is interested in learning more about it or uh, trying a sample, you can go to add-care.com. One last thing before I say goodbye, I do want to let you know that I am not affiliated with the company, uh, AdCare, I'm not being paid by this, this is totally volunteer, um, and I am hoping that people will try AdCare, and um, thank you.